In this tutorial, I will show you how to install and also start the your very own local 2PG dashboard. Now we want to clone the 2PG dashboard. So we're going to open this in desktop. I'll just copy the URL here. We don't need to click on this. We can just go into here. So now we're going to add it. We're going to clone a repository at the URL. Copy this URL here, the dashboard. And this is what it's going to be called, but we're going to name it 3PG to match our new bot. It doesn't matter, it's just a, just a new bot. That will do. There's so many PGs, it's really confusing me at this point. Okay, so now we've got our new dashboard. However, this points to the same repository, so we need to do something about that eventually. So, so now we've got the repository. We open it in Visual Studio Code. So we go into environment.ts. Now we can type our public key in that we're going to use or your public key that you're going to use for payments and then your github URL which is this in my case and then we don't need to change this if you're using the same settings apart from test now we're going to use just going to use this one for the tests however it doesn't matter it's not really used that much unless you're testing so now you in prod these two folders these two files this one's used for production this one's used for testing so you want to type the appropriate fields there for both things so now all we do is we so now we type a strange windows command that will delete the folder remove directory and we want to remove the git directory because I don't want that and now we have no repository initialized so now we make a brand new repository git init now we've got a fresh clean repository so 2pg template yes we've done it and commit that and now we're going to add our new repository for some reason it's gone off the planet somewhere so now we've okay so now we go into our repository we're going to press publish repository so we're going to call this 3pg dashboard good bot publish done And there we go, push it to the origin, press publish branch, and that will transfer the, f the files and folders. And now we type 3pg dashboard. And here we have it, we've done it. But to make sure to start the bot, I'm going to type ng, or just npm start will do, N or ng serve. <coughs> Remember to type npm i to install all the required packages. So if you want to get your, before we get the dashboard running, we want to type npm start and also have the MongoD process open. So now we've got our dashboard process, so we're going to log in real quick and refresh just so it works. I don't know why it's doing that today. So now we have our very own dashboard. We can play around with things, why not? And yeah.